Hi, welcome back. Um, today I want to show you how to tie uh, my Mayfly nymph. This is the Danica nymph. Um, it's got a little pattern. And the Mayflies are out in late May, early June. Um, show you how it ties. So the hook I'm using is a Fuller Mill Jig Force Long in size 14. And the bead is a 3.2 millimetre black, matte black tungsten bead. Um, thread I'm using is a yellow silk. I'll start off behind the bead and work my way back. Just before the bend, trim off the excess. The tail, it's a um, golden pheasant tail. I want to pull off about uh, maybe five or six fibers. Just trim them off like so. Now I only want these to be maybe five or six mil from the um, coming off the back. So, come in, tie them down, like so. Now with the rest of your tail, swing it underneath and wind your thread back so it's in place. Just be careful because these feathers are quite brittle and they do snap quite easy. Uh, the rib, I'm using a black wire. I'll trim a little piece off and tie that in. Quite a big nymph these ones and the fish love them in May, uh, May June when they're hatching off. Right. Anyway, so the dubbing I'm using is a hairline dubbing in yellow, HD9 if you want to know the exact colour. Pull off a good pinch of this and dub it on. I thread quite tight. And I want to taper the body. Here we go. Start off with the turns and make sure I'm taping it when I'm working my way up. Like so. Just get a touch more. And run my thread. Just to trap the bead in place. Right, so I'm just going to come maybe 4mm back from the bead. This is where I'm going to tie in my, I'll turn the vise round the top there. Right, so you want to get your um, golden pheasant tail and your wire and you're going to catch it in, making sure it's at the top. Work your way up, nice even turns, <coughs> like so. Couple more. Right, so I still need them pheasant tail fibres so I'm just going to come in with my thread and tie this wire off get my thread around it and spin it around it right. now come in and spin your um, wire off 
right next just gonna clip them down a bit next i'm using a um, partridge feather so i've pulled off all the bits that i don't need and i'm just gonna use a few few of the top lengths or maybe just need you how thick the legs you want to try and keep it even either side maybe I don't know 10, 10 pheasant tail uh, pheasant tail uh, partridge fibers and I'll just trim the tip off push them back so it's like a V and I'm going to place this inside on top of the golden pheasant tail on the the back of the flies and i'll just tie this down like so so the even either side there we go now i'll trim off the stem so the legs in place now right i need a little bit more dubbing just the same yellow dubbing oh, it's quite thick now I want to try and build this thorax up, thorax up come in and just behind the partridge I'm gonna is that quite thick I'll come back with my thread and do one turn just to catch that in place and I'll come back with my thread just behind the bead try and spray these feathers out and just, just catch them in like so see that there we go now come in Trim them golden pheasant tail fibers off. I'll just put a touch more dubbing in. This one quite loose, just a little pinch of it. I'll come in and whip finish behind the bead, tighten down. off my thread and just with your dubbing needle just I'll just sort this out because it's going a bit off there just come in and pull a few of the fibers of the dubbing out just to make it look like gills Do it, and there you have it. That's the um, Danica nymph. It's a great little pattern when uh, we hit May and June. Uh, give this one a go. So, yeah, it's a nice pattern. Thanks for watching. Bye.